Today I'm going to show you a little uh, a trick uh, that gets around a limitation in one of my favorite features, which is artistic effects, uh, applying them to your pictures in PowerPoint can often be the cut between something that looks very plain and boring and something that looks like you gave it quite a bit of work. Uh, but again, it's just one click to get an, arti an artistic effect applied to your picture. So I have a picture here in the slide, and it's an interesting enough picture, but what I want to do is I want to put some effects on this to kind of make it a little more abstract and then drop it into the, the visual background of the slide. So if I click on Format and go over here to Artistic Effects, I can choose the Blur effect, and that, that does a pretty good job of... Uh, of obfuscating the actual image but still giving you kind of a hint of what it is and it's one of the things you want to do in background images. I'm going to bring in the artistic effects and I'm going to blur this a little bit more and take it down just a little bit. Okay so about 12. So if I, I had this effect on it but if I go back in here and I also want to use this um, this option that's called uh, glow edges. But you notice that the moment I select that, the blur is gone entirely. So the artistic effects don't stack on top of each other. But there is a pretty quick and easy way for you to get them to do that. And that is to export the picture by right clicking on it and say save as picture. I'm just going to go to the desktop, save that, and default picture two. And now I'm going to drag this in. And we get another image that's the same as what we had, this one's got an artistic effect on it, and this one does not. You can see there's nothing applied here. So now I'll delete the original one. And now since this image have, is an image with that effect, I can go in with artistic effects and apply the blur to it and get kind of, it's an evocative image. And especially if it was an image that I was using elsewhere in the presentation, um, it might be recognized as a background. But in any case, that's how you, uh, that's a workaround to not being able to stack artistic effects on top of each other. Um, so I hope that helps. There are, there are a lot of nice artistic effects you can apply. And uh, if you haven't, if you aren't using it, it's one of those features that you really should uh, take a look at it. Here's a combination of mosaic with that, that line effect, or even um, let's just make it kind of a black sketch. So stacking them, Stacking artistic effects gives you X uh, effects. I'm not going to do the math and tell you the, uh, the massive number that you probably would get. But, and again, if I wanted to, I could export this as a picture, bring it back in, and apply another artistic effect to it. And that's it. Hope you enjoy.